Hello folks, I've had a couple questions about making your own radius fingerboard for a fiddle. Cigar box fiddle in this case. This is the one I made out of a maple. Getting the radius is a little tricky, but um, oftentimes I'll use a Chinese factory radius fingerboard. They only cost about 10 bucks and they're nice ebony, but I use them to try to match the radius of my homemade ones. So I'm in the process of making a fingerboard out of mahogany. I usually start with maybe about a quarter inch thick because it has to be still have thickness in the center when you take the side pieces off for the radius. And this piece is oh, probably about 24 inches and it's just about enough for two fiddle fingerboards. So I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process that I do to make that. Okay, I have my table saw blade set at uh, 23 degrees. And I'm going to use that. I'm going to pass the mahogany piece through on both sides. Like that and that to take the edges off. And I'll show you how that looks in just a minute. Okay, here's the mahogany with um, two sides removed at 23 degrees so you have three flat surfaces one on top one on either side and what I'm going to do next is take a coarse rasp and just smooth that out I'll be using the factory fingerboard as a guide but I think this will be pretty close after I round these flat pieces off and try to make a nice curvature um, in the past, I've taken the factory neck and just drawn a line there so I have something to go by. But I've gotten to where I can just sort of eyeball it and get it pretty close. So next comes the fun part of sitting down with a rasp and rasping away. That might take about an hour. Okay, I figured I'd show you some of the rasping process. I use usually use three different rasps, uh, starting with Nicholson coarse rasp. Then I move on to Dragon Rasp from Stuart McDonald. A little pricey, but man, are these nice hand-cut Dragon Rasp. And I finish off before sanding with a Super Shear. That's from Nicholson, and it gives a nice, smooth finish. So, a little bit of coarse rasp. I've been at it for about 10 minutes here already, but let's see how I get it in the camera. Hold on. Right, so here we go. Just getting that flat edge off and making it rounded. I'll periodically compare it to the factory fingerboard from China. But right now, I'm just going for rounding it off. Okay, I'll stay at it for a little while here and show you what uh, what it comes up with. Okay, so after about two hours of work, the mahogany fiddle fingerboard is finished with a radius very close to that of the factory fingerboard. So, that was the piece of mahogany with the uh, 23 degree angles cut on each side and what we have here is the factory ebony Chinese fingerboard which is very nice and for 10 bucks I'll probably continue using them there's a shop made maple fingerboard with the radius on it and here's the one I just finished that I've been showing you. And it'll probably go on a cigar box fiddle that I'm in the process of working on. So I hope you uh, enjoyed my little journey through radiusing a fiddle fingerboard. Thanks for watching.